Hi, I'm Shayna and you're watching Island Images. It's an early Saturday morning on Guam, but as you can see behind me, that hasn't stopped local residents from coming out to support a 5K. So we're here with Mr. Richard Taitagui, president of the Guam Running Club. Mr. Taitagui, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. So can you tell us what, what is a 5K? 5K is nothing more than that. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a road racing, actually. It's a 3.1 mile. Pretty well known internationally, it's a 5K. So why do you feel like the 5Ks have gained so much popularity on Guam? A lot of the former athletes, they're coming out. You know, they're, they're, they're coming out of the class thinking, hey, I'm going to run again. I'm, I'm back because I see all these activities going on. And then we get, we're getting a lot of females for some reason. The number of females are coming out, it's, it's crazy. So there's more females now. Uh, now, what, what's happening is we're getting a lot of kids coming out. That's why we started this 2K event for the kids. Uh, years ago, we, I've noticed a lot of kids are coming out 5K and it's just too far for the kids. And the, you know, the parents want to be in shape as well. So they drag on the kids. So I, we noticed that. So we started the 2K race. So is that something that's just Guam? It's just unique for Guam. Uh, for some reason, I've got people from the, from the United States that come over, from the running club team, they will ask us, what is our secret? What do we, how do we do this? Why are we so successful with our 5K in Guam? Because they can't seem to do it back in the States. You know, it's far, it's far apart, the 5K. You know, you have a 5K like every, for example, every, every three months or every six months, or sometimes, depending where you're at, it's so far apart. Here, we have it just about every weekend. And they ask us, what's your, your success? What do you guys, how do you guys do it? And I said, you know, it's the community. The community comes together, and for some reason, a lot of folks are into, into health and fitness now. And that's just something that they started it. And you know, we're just, I was just glad to be here to help them with it. The community are so involved with this event. Uh, an example is like this race here. They, they didn't anticipate this many people here. Uh, the community came. Community helped them by the sponsors. The sponsor is the key thing here. To, uh, the organization, they go out and, and ask for, for, for help from the, from the business establishment and sponsor. And they're just surprised that they, they, the, our community, they, they sponsor them. They're very, very supportive about it. And that's one of the key ingredients that make this very successful. It is an example of a Timor culture. The giving, they, they just give out. They know it's a, it's a cost. It's uh, a lot of, actually most of this 5K is for a, it's a fundraiser for a cost. And the community out there, they, they're, they're, they're giving. They said, hey, we will support you because it's a cost. I heard that um, this is actually going to benefit the University of Guam. It's a scholarship for the kids that are attending the University of Guam or, or the Guam Community College. Community support for education, for, for the whole community. It I is. Think. This run is actually organized and set by the students. They, 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 you know, they see the benefit of this. And there are some of these kids are, are in high school getting ready to go to college. And some of them are in college. And they really need, some of these kids they need help to go to, to continue their, their studies. And this is one of them. Food, absolutely food. People love how come here and eat. In the stage you get like orange and bananas and drinks and that's it and they're gone. Here, gosh, some races they come out here with fried rice. It's amazing, fried rice and uh, they, they come out of all kinds of stuff. It's a fiesta. This month, April, it's every Saturday and some Sundays. But in the month of May, we have a race like Friday evening, Saturday morning and Sunday morning. We have all walks of life here. We have all shapes and forms that come out here. It's, it's just a competitive, and uh, the people can come here and just have fun. You don't have to be a professional runner. In this 5K, I've seen all kinds of organizations. I've, you know, I've had Chinese group that come out and do a 5K. I have churches. I have this is a, a run by Korean, but again, it's a community. We got local 5. We got every gamut of our, our culture here, and they all seem to come together, support each other. Well, that's all for our show for today. Thank you for watching and tune in for the next Island Images. Adjust Guam.